houses, so we didn't really get a, a time to connect, but that time is now, and I must take a sip of my coffee. Ew. Pipsqueak's hitting something over here. I think you might have found something. I can't tell. He's looking real into it. So, before I started, I actually moved this rocking chair from the corner of the room to right here, so you get a little bit of a better view. Trees are blooming all around me. These are fruit trees over here, and that's just a regular tree. <laughs> um, but before I started recording, I moved the rocking chair, and when I tell you that, whoa, 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 I don't know what's going on. I think Strom might have found a bird, unless he found one of the strays. We have like four strays out here, and hello, welcome to the channel, um, I like to go on random ass rambles when I'm trying to tell you one specific thing, and then I tell you like seven other stories and I come back to it, but I'll eventually come back, hopefully. But anyways, when I was moving the chair, see, full circle, when I was moving this chair, Stromboli, the little uh, black cat with a little bit of white, he sprinted over to where the rocking chair was and then he started eating something immediately and I was like bro what the fuck and so I went over to him and I was like waiting for him to drop it because he's just munching and there's nothing bad in this room it's very clean so I that's why I wasn't in any urgent uh I wasn't that you know, it wasn't urgent okay <laughs> wasn't urgent, and, uh, so I was waiting for him to drop it. As soon as he dropped it, I was like, oh my god, because it sounded so crunchy when he, when he started biting it, and just munching on it, and I'm, I'm over here thinking, like, I don't know, I, I don't even know what it could have been, but I figured it out. It was a ladybug, and one thing about me is I hate ladybugs. Ladybugs are freak me out. I hate how small they are, and they can just crawl on me, and I don't know, maybe I'll notice, maybe I won't. They're just really gross to me, and so are ants. This is the same situation there. They're just so small, and ants just seem really fast. But, anyway, so when I saw it was a ladybug, ew. Oh, I freaked out. It's still there. I have to clean it after the video, but I'm scared, and maybe I might ask the producer if she could do it, but she's sleeping, because it is, like, 6.30. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe I'll just have to, um, I'll do it myself. <laughs> but that's the king of the hour, Stromboli. Let's just pack up, and, um, and then we'll take another hit. But let me take a sip of my coffee, like I said earlier, because I definitely did not do that. That is the little teacup, coffee cup, that I showed in my antique video, if you recognize it. Alright, let me pack up. This is where I store some of my bud. Um, we like to use empty seasoning uh, jars. So this is everything bagel seasoning, and the one in our room I think says Cajun or cayenne. I'm in my 
super duper baked and I think after this I might go read a little bit damn I'm just now seeing that our aloe plant is dead he is so dead maybe after this I can actually look up how to save that little man dang I, I think it could be too much sunlight for sure but after this yeah I don't know I might work on the producer's puzzle over here and if you're new and you have no idea who the producer is, I just call my wife the producer. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I might do a puzzle or I might read. Maybe I'll edit this video. Um, damn, I have to sneeze. No, let it go. Pineapples. <sighs> Zebras. That's the bee that keeps scaring me. It keeps sounding like it's right here. And fun fact, I've never been stung by a bee. So I am so, so terrified of getting stung. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I have had some close encounters, but nothing, uh, nothing too serious. I've always been able to get away. Strong bullies looking at this like, because actually the other day he did hit a bee and it got stuck in the like window so also he kept trying to like hit it <laughs> and uh, we've never had any of the boys and the boys are my kids my four cats <laughs> uh, we've never had any of them interact with a bee although in our last apartment I was vacuuming and I was vacuuming the hallway to the bathroom when out of nowhere, after I rolled over something and I had just started the hallway, a bee just started flying up. We think it was living in the vacuum and I let out the biggest scream. Oh my God, it was, <laughs> it was so funny. I was terrified, dude. But uh, yeah, so none of the boys have actually interacted with them because we immediately closed the doors when that happened and thankfully they were in a different room so they haven't interacted with one until Stromboli hit one the other day and so we started waiting watching Stromboli making sure he was all good but man he took that shit like a champ we do think he got stung but we weren't around to actually see it to confirm it so we're not actually too sure but damn that bee won't leave us alone <laughs> And Strom wants it. He he wants it, man. He is our newest addition to the family. We got him last fall. And we have oh, the one on your left, Pipsqueak. <laughs> he is almost all white with black ears and a black tail. I don't think he has any black on his chest. Um, he's our second youngest, so Strom bullies the youngest. Squeaks the second youngest. <laughs> and then we have Lettuce Head. Lettuce Head. <laughs> uh, he is second oldest. And then Oreo is our eldest. <laughs> um, yeah, they're all cute. Lettuce is all white. All white. And he has green eyes. And then Oreo looks almost exactly like Stromboli really old, a lot bigger. Strom's really small. And, uh, he's got, like, white on his chest and belly, and it makes it look like a little bikini. It's kind of cute. <laughs> oh, man. He's cute. He cuddles. I love that. I used to be a big dog person, but, the man, have they converted me over. It's, it's amazing here. I don't have to take them out in the snow or anything to go to the bathroom. It's a convenient time here, and they're just so cute. Oh my god. 
goodness, they don't bark, they do. Oh my god, they do yell a lot, the Stromboli's constantly yelling. <laughs> we thought it was just gonna be a phase, like ever since moving him into our place. But, no, it's constant, it's constant. <laughs> and sometimes he'll do it, he'll call for the other kids, and the other kids will just hide, oh my god. Oh man, Strom is really into this. Let's take another hit. If you can't tell, I'm, I'm beyond baked right now. But, I think, I think we can handle one more, maybe two more, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, cheers. Thank <laughs> you. 